Thank you so much for joining for another video this running things please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're new to my channel thank you so much for joining me and welcome you to my channel what we're having today we're having Dahlia's pepperoni pizza I'm doing a solo today so this is what I feel like eating today guys so it's only pizza but that's what I feel like eating so hopefully you guys will grab a chair and, and hopefully you're eating with me I don't know if you're eating breakfast lunch or dinner but I'm gonna go ahead and dig in because I'm hungry this one came with no pepperoni though. Everybody else has pepperoni. Yeah, everything else. But that's alright, I still eat it because I like it. Mm. I hope you guys are having a great day. My wife is working today. So she can't accompany me. But it's okay guys. I still love you guys. So I still want to do a mukbang for you guys. Hopefully she'll be back tomorrow. She has to go to work and back again tomorrow. She's working. A lot of work. She has a lot of overtime right now, so I'm hoping she can be with me tomorrow. Mm mm. Dahlia's pizza is really good. We have it down the street. Mm. Not a lot of pizza. Mm mm mm. Usually, I don't put no dressing or nothing. The only time I ever have any dressing with my pizza is Dominicos. Dominicos. They have this house white sauce that they won't share with nobody, but that's the only thing I like on top of my pizza. Other than that, it's just like this. Like this. I'm so hungry. Mm -hmm. and today's Wednesday, so happy Wednesday. You know, guys, I love Wednesdays. Because they come Thursday and Friday, and then it comes the weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is so yummy. I have some, I usually don't complain about pizzas, but this is really good. Other pizzas are okay. If you guys have a Dahlia's in your house, by your neighborhood band, they, they sell everything. Mm -hmm. This is really good. And I feel like having grape juice. So I don't know if it's a good mix or not, but I love grape juice and I can have it anytime. Mm. I've been loving you guys' comments. Thank you so much for your love. I really appreciate it, guys. I'm getting a lot of subscribers and I appreciate that too. So thank you guys. I try to keep up with everybody. We're working both a lot of overtime, so right now it's really hard, especially at our job, we have no reception. We work for the same company, so we just have different hours. Oh my God. So I'm so sorry guys if I'm not keeping up with everybody, but I do try to watch. Sometimes I don't even have time to comment, but I'm watching the, the you know, the. The mukbangs on the video. This is so good. I have a friend of mine who loves to make pizza. She makes it every week. I told her she should do a she should do a mukbang channel because she makes it from scratch. She makes really good pepperoni pizzas. But this is really good. Pepperoni! Pepperoni! See, this one has like three. The one didn't have any. It's a trip. Mmm, yummy! Oh. Mm -hmm. The other one day I was watching Sonia Linnea. 
to the Vienna subscribe today to hurt that shit. But anyway, she had a really interesting question. She does help a lot of people with uh, relationships. You know, she has a mukbang video channel, but she also has one for a relationship. And it was very interesting what this girl was trying to help, um, ask for help. Um, she's about to get married. She was, she's with this guy for four and a half years. She's getting married in a month. But, about two years ago, in 2017, she went to a Starbucks and she met this girl. And I get this girl somehow end up asking her, are you happy or are you in love or whatever about him? And she said, yes. But this girl has an obsession with the girl from Starbucks and she goes every morning to get her coffee just to be able to see her, to look into her eyes because she, it makes her tingle. So she was asking if she should ask, tell her husband. She doesn't think she's gay, but she's in an obsession with this girl. I've always been a lesbian, you know, I never got married with a man, I never been with a man, I just not wanting to, um, not by choice, if I ever been, not with a man, but, you know, that boy, but I've always been a lesbian, I know many women that have been married, they always had this in their soul, in their heart, that they like the same sex, they're women, they like women. But they were married, they got divorced, they end up being with a girl, and they end up falling with a girl, and now they love girl, women. So, the way I see it, and this is what I put in the comment, first of all, you know, she, this girl doesn't even know the girl from Starbucks likes her or not. That way, we don't. She, she didn't say much story about it. She didn't talk much about it. She just said that they both talk every morning, and that she has to go every morning to see her. I still feel bad for the guy. Whether well, gay or straight doesn't matter. If, if my partner about to marry has this tingling sensation for somebody else, or has an obsession with somebody else, with a woman or a man, you have to complain. You have to be honest. Otherwise, you're living. Been marrying this poor guy, he's what she said that there was a dream guy, she wants to spend the rest of her life with this man. But meanwhile, she has this other girl that she goes to see for two years who makes her tinkle. Anyways, I think that's unfair. Um, I think it's unfair to him, I think it's unfair to her because I've been, I've been like I said, I've been always a lesbian, but I've heard so many stories of women trying to get married with a man, or they get married. And they end up cheating on their husband or um, I don't know they end up being end up leaving the husband for a woman in the future and then they end up having kids and all this drama so the way I see it you might be curious you might be confused but first of all let him know he, like, like Sonia was saying that he, he might be into it you know a lot of men are into two women together and if not don't let this guy marry you when you have a feeling for somebody else. How would you like if the roles were reversed? So anyways, that took, kind of took me for a loop because, I, like I said, I've been a lizard all my life. I've dated a lot of women. Yeah, a lot of straight women. Straight. But they were with me. And I think the hardest thing for a person to go through, at least my experience that I've seen with the people I know and I met and I dated. The hardest thing is to live with themselves. Usually women that are with men, that they like women, they try to go back to men because they feel they're bisexual, they just have a curiosity, or they don't think they're gay. So it flips, flops back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until they realize either they're lesbian or they're not. I would not want to be in a position being the other person because I've been in that position that the woman wants to be with me, but she's married, but she doesn't want to leave him, but she wants to leave him to be with me. And I don't want that, especially if they have kids, please don't leave him. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna be responsible for that. I'm not be responsible for that for your kids. I'm not gonna feel guilty about you leaving your kids for me. But I've been in that situation with women. So, anyways, I think Lene, Sonia Lene, I got it, you know, had it on point what she said, you know, she hasn't had much information to rule either here or there, but that the girl is totally straight. I don't think she is, and if she, maybe she's curious, but if you're confused now without doing anything, you're going to be confused more later on when you're intimate with a woman, because when women are with men, I'm not saying anything, anything against men, same thing for gay guys. It's a totally different relationship. We have a relationship with a woman, and you're a woman, we have a relationship with a man. Special, same thing with men. When you guys, two men have a relationship with two men, and then they end up being with a woman. It's a different intimacy. It's different. I don't know, because you're the same, you know, sex. Maybe you know that person better because you know what you like, I guess. But anyways, um, I don't know how you guys will feel. I know I'm a lesbian. I don't care if the guy's a straight guy or not. I think she might, she should be telling him and she should come clean to him and to her. Like I said, you know, on, on the comment, you know, this girl might not even, the girl from Starbucks might not even like her like that. So she's going crazy about her, all the fantasies in her head, and the girl might not even be into her. So I don't know if you guys have any comments or concerns. Like I said, it wasn't my question. It was, I saw the outside of Lynette the other day. I asked my wife, and she felt the same way as I did, that you gotta be honest. If you guys are, any of you guys are going through that, it's not right or wrong how you feel. You should be able to feel the way you do, but what is wrong is that you're not being honest to the other person. Same thing with guys. I met so many guy friends of mine that been married and they were cheating on their wives with another man. I think that is bad. I don't think nobody should cheat. No matter if it's a woman, a woman, a man, 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 woman, it doesn't matter. So anyway, if you guys have any comments or concerns, I don't know if you any comments about it, you can put it in my, my link below, or you can go on to Sonia Linez, you'll see the posting from her about a relationship. Mm. Sorry. You can put a comment on her because she's also asking for people's opinion because she doesn't know anybody like that, so she doesn't know, you know if she's responding correct. I think she was in point, but Sonia Lene, you guys, if you look under my friends um, or Facebook, Sonia Lene, she's under my um, Marlene's things under Facebook or here on on YouTube. You can also find her. If you guys know anybody has gone through that. Or personally, if you come through that, you can also leave her a link. I mean, a comment about it. Anyway, that's been bugging me. I don't know why. I heard I saw that a couple of days ago. That's sweet. And what's fair is fair. It doesn't matter if you're gay, straight, bi, transsexual. What a man. It doesn't matter where you are. You gotta be honest with the person you're about to marry, and it doesn't matter what it is. So anyway, that's my opinion. I don't know how you guys feel. But this is so good. Mm, I killed this. We didn't buy a huge pizza because I can only have pizza once. If I have it two days in a row, I get really sick. But I can have pizza one day. Of course, it will be beautiful. You know, I'm so gonna so gonna affect me. But I can't have a large. We still we buy large pizzas, and we still have to give. Our friends on pizza, there's in the front because we can't, my wife doesn't eat more than two, three pieces. I don't eat more than, maybe if it's a long one, I'll eat two, three. If it's a medium one, I'll eat four. But we can't eat a whole large pizza, so. A medium, it does good with me. I have four pieces and it was delicious. Mmm. 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 I'm gonna have a shot later on, baby. Mm. That was delish. Ish. Ish, ish. So, anyway, guys, um, thank you.
Thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you had a lunch, you know, breakfast or dinner with me. I know this video's come out really early. So again, thank you so much for joining me. And again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, as usual, you know, please don't forget to ring, ring, ring the bell, ring the bell, and put it to all, say up to all, that way you don't miss any of my uploads. Again, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Till next time. Peace.